guys welcome back to another video today I want to have a conversation with you about um, something that many of you don't want to talk about something that many of you want to talk about but either are shy or afraid to talk about Let's have a conversation on being rejected, being denied. I mean, have you have you ever wanted a girl? Maybe your first time, maybe your second, maybe your third, or maybe you've just been trying. Like you, you like this girl, you wanna you wanna woo her. Maybe she's your friend. You've spoken to her some few times. You've made her aware of your mind, but she's not forthcoming. Or the day you just said, oh, so so, so be my girlfriend. Then she says, oh no, I see you as a friend. I see you as a brother. <laughs> that is brother zone. That is friend zone. At the end of the day, all that has happened is rejection. You've been rejected then again she probably will say oh she's not ready <laughs> uh, listen to this one one of the things you should know is that when a woman tells you she's not ready it can be two things one either she's truly truly not ready for a relationship because she has not gotten over her previous relationship or she hasn't been in a relationship at all but she's not ready and interested in a relationship at all not yet the time is not yet for her so take it like that secondly if she says she's not ready she could mean she's not ready to be in a relationship with you but she's ready to be in a relationship with someone you can try it <laughs> Try it and see. You probably will see him getting married to somebody or, or jumping right after telling you he's already <laughs> to be with someone. <laughs> Many of the women will tell you. Uh, she's not ready because she probably doesn't see you to be the one she wants to spend her life with and all of that. Not to mean that you are not the one. You are the one, but not for her. Literally, just that. You are wooing this girl, but she says no to you anytime you say it to her. I think that you shouldn't waste your time. You shouldn't waste your time to pursue further because she's really not interested. Maybe later she'll be interested when you fully and finally do this thing. Decide not to give her the level and the kind of attention you give her. Some women, some women want to just play with your feelings and twat it. Some want to do that. But I'm sure you wouldn't want someone to just play with your feelings and mess your feelings up and go away. Let me give you a very personal story. There's this girl I, I liked. I liked her. We, we, we've been together a few times. Not, not having sex, but uh, we, I've known her for some time. We've been talking. I, I told her one time that I liked her. I want to be with her. Um, the response, she didn't really, really like, give me a response. It was, was off. So, like, months has come. And again, I don't know, but I asked her again and I liked her. Uh, still, she didn't give me a response. Okay. The months has come again and suddenly something happened. It felt like now the relationship was going a little deep into itself so i was still on my point that i liked her i want to be with her i was i was all on that so there was this one time i made an attempt to kiss her but she pulled away but one of the things i realized she was doing to me was one wasting my time and i say wasting my time she wants me to spend time with her, talk with her, comfort her, tell her things that will make her feel okay and better with herself. 
but she wasn't re reciprocating it for me i felt strongly that she wanted me to just be the one falling all in love with her but for her no love back literally that was like fresh when i bought my car like literally everywhere she wants she just want to be with me sit in my car if she say we should go here she just feels like once she has said it i should just do it for her there was this one last time i was with her i think after my birthday experience i was with her and she said she was hungry that time i deliberately decided that even if she was hungry i wasn't going to use my money to buy food for her so i asked her that oh would you like to what, what would you like to he said this was her, that. we got to a place where there was so I decided that I'd rather ask her what she want to eat and tell her, oh, then go and buy the food. Immediately I said that, she saw the sign and she told me that, oh, she even called her father. I think, yes, the time we were driving, she spoke with her father and she said, so she told her father that she was hungry. And she said, so when I told her that she should go and buy the food with her money, then she said, oh, she has even, like some few seconds, said, oh, she has even told about the fact that the father said she would get food for her. I'm like, okay, so, so should I drive, should I take you home? And then she was like, yes. I think I took her home or I dropped her halfway. That was about, I can't really remember. But after that incident, I called her one time because then I had decided that, no, enough is enough. There's no time in wasting time with this girl who is not showing forth or coming forth with the fact that she likes you back or she wants to be in a relationship with you so i called and i told her that hey p um i want to tell you something the thing i want to say is that i've realized that i'm the only person who is in love with you i've realized that i'm the only person who is i mean like literally crashing <laughs> like i'm falling and i was even quite poetic about it <laughs> i was like no i i feel like I will fall so much in love with you and before I realize I have fallen and would have broken, gotten broken. So all I want to do is I want to kill that love that I'm feeling for you. That thing, I want to kill it and see you as a friend. So let's just be on that friendship level. Then she was like, why do I want to be on that friendship level? And I'm like, ah, so is that what you are thinking in the first place? So all you wanted to do was just waste my time, spend my money, sit in my luxury, like literally whatever I have, you want to just spend it and go away. That's what I said in my head. I was like, no, 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 I'll just kill that thing. So I didn't call her again. Prior to that, she was supposed to have visited me at my job and she didn't come. I waited for her, waited for her, waited for her, she didn't come. I called her, she, she told me she would come. So that was even made me walk away for her and she didn't come. At about 8 p.m., I called her and I was like, oh, why you didn't you come? She got upset. Now, do I know why this and that? My friend, at the end of the day, I stopped calling her. The attention cut, all of that. Some few months later, this lady sent me an invite. She was getting married. Well, I didn't go. When I was also getting married, I sent her an invite. She didn't come. <laughs> So well, both, of, both of us, we have to do each other. But all I'm trying to say is that rejection, denial is not your fault in some way. It's not your fault in some way because the person, the person doesn't want to be with you. But it's not bold enough. The person is not, the person is not confident and courageous enough to tell you that I don't want to be with you. You should be able to see that and not pursue further. Maybe when you ask one or two and they don't respond or they, they say no, leave it there. Kill every feeling you have and see them like the way they are seeing you. What is wrong with seeing them like the way they are seeing you? What is wrong with that? Nothing is wrong with that. That is one. Secondly, too, it's your fault that you are being rejected, you are being denied. Why is it? your fault it is your fault because you and i know that deep within our heart before we do something or say something or tell somebody that we like the person we love the person want to be with that person we ourselves 
we have already decided in our heart that hey this thing i'm going to do i'm, I'm rejected ah, what if she says no what if he says this what if he says this those what is you've already killed yourself within yourself that there will be what if <laughs> one of the things i really hate and don't like is a girl telling me i'm going to think about it you know the moment you tell me i'm going to think about it i'll tell you it's okay don't think about it i know the answer the answer is that it's a no not even to no that's just the answer you see where i'm coming from so before you are rejected or you are denied it means that first of all you you have done it to yourself you have denied yourself the fact that this girl can say yes or no my word for you is this live free flow it's like the when you open a tap water it flows live free like that flow when i say flow leave you be you like enjoy your life love yourself accept yourself approve yourself take yourself to the cinema take yourself to the beach take yourself to the pool take yourself to literally find a spot find something to do with yourself live when you're living like that like read some books like like literally do things that will make you happy do things that will make you feel joy like all of the things that make you feel love do that and when you do that i tell you you won't even get a girl who will tell you that no <laughs> yeah, i mean they wouldn't they won't even come your way the one who will come your way will tell you yes because already with you in your mind you are secure with you in your mind you are safe with you in your mind you love yourself so whether they are in or out you are fine whether they are in or out you are fine one of the things i used to say is that i stand a chance to lose nothing nothing to mean that i believe in myself yeah you say i'm proud yes but i like it i believe in myself so much that i have so much value to offer so if you stay with me you will gain if you leave you will lose this is the end of my video if this helped you to get yourself ready for the next relationship or get yourself ready to love yourself and move on and be better recommend this to somebody tell somebody about this channel and um, subscribe and like and share give me a very good comment i'll see you in the next one peace